Oh dear students, let's discuss about properties or characteristics of light. As we know, light is also a wave, and we are going to discuss about the characteristics of light. Uh, light has frequency. What is frequency? As you can see here, let's start uh, by allowing this to start moving. So if I increase the frequency, as you can see, we have many cycles within a given period of time. If I decrease the frequency, you see we have few cycles. So with frequency, it's the number of cycles that the light wave has within a given period of time. The higher the frequency, the more the cycles, as you can see. Lower the frequency, the fewer the cycles. So if I increase the amplitude and I say higher frequency, as you can see, the higher the frequency, the higher of number of cycles that pass within a given period of time. The lower the frequency, you see, the lower or the fewer the number of cycles that pass. What about... That is amplitude. So, of course, here we have high amplitude. If we make it lower, you can see the effect of amplitude. So, this is smaller amplitude. This is higher amplitude. Amplitude is the maximum displacement. This is rest or original position. So, with high amplitude, you have it going higher. With lower amplitude, with lower amplitude you can see it. This separation is small, or this distance from the rest position, which is rest position is here, this distance is small. Yeah, so that is about wave amplitude. With wave speed or wave velocity, if I increase the velocity, you see it's moving very fast. If I decrease the wave speed, you can see it's moving somehow slowly. So, with low speed, with high speed, kind of have it going faster. It's going faster with high speed. It's going slow with low speed. So these are some of the important characteristics of light, like any other wave. Frequency, how many cycles within a given period of time or span? Speed, how faster is it going? Amplitude, what is the maximum di displacement from its rest position? What is the span? There's something called intensity. Intensity relates to amplitude. So the higher the amplitude, the higher the intensity. The lower the amplitude, the lower the intensity. So when we talk about frequency, speed, and amplitude, this is what it is. Of course, we know that frequency of a wave determines its energy. Amplitude also determines its energy. Speed of the wave, on the other hand, or velocity of the wave. Let's see this, because there's something called wavelength. Wavelength is the distance between, let's actually use this. I can make it larger and make it like this. If we go to slow motion, wavelength is the distance between these two peaks, rests, or troughs, this distance between these two, or the distance between these two, that is what is called wavelength. That wavelength determines the color of light. That wavelength that we see here determines the color of light. That is important for us to note. Thank you.